Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Insyaallah in this video I will be sharing with you how you can answer PSLE science MCQ questions or those questions that are found in the science booklet A of the PSLE paper. So in this method, we call it the sure method. Just a disclaimer: this uh, sure method is not from me. But Alhamdulillah, uh, some colleagues shared and I felt that this is something which is very useful for students to use, especially when I'm when answering the MCQ questions. So what is the SURE method? Basically, SURE is an acronym whereby S means for study the question, followed by U, where you underline the keywords. And next will be R, recall the concepts. And E, you eliminate the options. Good thing is for MCQ questions, there are four options. And high chance, one or two or even three of the other options are clearly options which you can easily eliminate, which will then help you to arrive to the, to the correct answer easily. So inshallah, I will be sharing with you two examples to illustrate the sure method. In this question, there are four blood samples, M and O and P, were taken from different blood vessels in the body. So before we continue, let's quickly recap the sure method. The first one is study the question, underline the keywords, recall the concepts, and eliminate options. For study for the first one, you have to read the whole questions and options. Actually, the longer the question is the better it is because there will be more information available for you. And look out for the keywords. You may want to get ready a highlighter or at least a different colored pen to underline the keywords. Then after you have underlined the keywords, then inshallah, you will be able to recall the concepts that, that are related to the keywords. And next will be for you to analyze the options and eliminate the incorrect options. So doing this example, you have to read the whole question from the top to the bottom. Again, read through everything, do not miss any line, and look out for the keywords. So I spotted the word oxygen. Um, so when I see the word oxygen, the first thing that comes to my mind will be the respiratory system in the body. That is from this concept is that I will remember that when we breathe in air, the first but that will, the first organ that will take in the oxygen will be the lungs, okay? And then the, the oxygen will be absorbed by the blood in the lungs. Uh, so the blood vessels, the blood will be rich in oxygen and the oxygen will be transported to, to other body parts and then subsequently back to the lungs. So I also spotted the words lungs to heart and hearts to lungs. So, the question is, which blood samples were most likely taken from the blood vessels? So, I would, as, as mentioned earlier, I know that the blood uh, vessels, that's from the lungs to heart, will be actually the most uh, oxygen rich. So, it's definitely the option M for me. So, I will then go to the options and I will strike off option 1 and option 4. Okay, and that will leave me with option two or three. So I will have then I will then have to analyze the next column, whereby is uh, blood vessels from heart to lungs. So that will be the least oxygen rich blood vessels. So that will mean that I will have then to strike off option P, because it will be definitely be the blood samples from O. So there we have it. The answer to this question will be option three. Next example, uh, this uh, PSLE paper, PSLE question. Uh, so again, let's recap the show sure method. Study question, underline keywords, recall concepts, eliminate options. Again, read the whole questions and options. Do not be put off by long questions. 
the, the, the more worthy or the more diagrams there are, the better it is because there will be information available for us. Underline the keywords and from the keywords, recall the concepts that are related to the keywords and then eliminate the incorrect options. So, let's go. I read the question from the top to the bottom, including the options. And I will see the word red colored water, section of the stem. Then as I scan down, I see the words like transport food, transport water, transport food, transport water. So the thing that will come to my mind will be the chapter on transport system in plants. And then I will then um, recall that, uh, I will then check out the question again. So they were saying that is uh, the plant is placed in a beaker of red colored water. So definitely the part of the um, tube, which is going to be red, will be the one that comes from the bottom, which will be uh, an illustration of the water carrying uh, tube. So I, I can then cancel out option one and option three. That leaves me with option two and four. So let's analyze what's the difference between two and four. Okay, so I can see that for option four to be transports water from the leaves. Okay, that would be conceptually wrong because water is absorbed from the roots and transported to other parts of the plants. So four is wrong too, and that leaves us with option number two. Okay, these are two examples to illustrate the sure method. I hope this uh, method will be useful for you. Uh, do try it and apply it in your MCQ paper and hopefully you will be able to answer the questions easily and correctly. So thank you for listening. Uh, if you find this video helpful, feel free to share to your friends. Thank you.